welcome back to the underground lair. We have an American Standard Telecaster. Looks like it's a 08 model. Um, it seems to be set up nearly perfect. Um, the only thing I'm noticing, and we're getting a little bit of string buzz. Those two strings are below the line of 4,000 or 464s at the 17th fret. Everything else going to the G, B, and E are all actually the E's a little high that come down, but it's really not why it's here. It's going to get a setup, yes, but. He bought these high wood HG contoured vintage S type saddles. No more hand palm injuries. Um, and also, a uh, thing he pointed out to me that I'm now seeing for the first time that unlike your, your standard Strat saddles, that don't have a notch they just the strings kind of just ride in between the two set screws these are notched which will evidently supposed to do something uh, yeah no more hand palm injuries keeps original s type tone better sustained quicker attack vintage appearance nickel plated notched for easier string bending so there you go High Wood Instruments BV, the Netherlands. So I did all my measurements. We got ten thousandths of relief. The string height's a little bit wonky, but you know we're taking the saddles off anyhow. So we're going to be we're going to go ahead and fix that. Not a lot of fret wear, just a little bit down here in the cowboy cord area. A bit, little bit from bending right here. Nothing horrible or even bad so yeah let's uh, go ahead and oh somebody has been in here uh, with the wrong kind of hex key because it's kind of gooned out I'll show you there near the top of the walnut plug there it's kind of gooned out that's why you use this is this is a five millimeter, but you see how long it is. It's able to get in to the truss rod area without messing up the wooden plug by having to go at an angle like other uh, truss rod wrenches, and it's longer than the ones that bend right there where the opening is so I have to dig that up in the meantime let me go ahead and unstring this and the string of the day is going to be the hybrid set not hybrid but it's a special set 9.5 to 44s so not quite nines not quite tens alrighty so we got our new saddles in pretty spiffy I think They look, look stock, but yeah, the, um, the metal is wrapped, you can see it here maybe, may have to zoom that in later, but the metal, unlike the fender, where it's just a U-shaped, this actually goes around and back under, so the grub screws go through the metal twice which allows for you to have shorter grub screws if needed and we're going to use some Big Ben's nut sauce to me it's the best lubricant for your guitars with trims I put some where the uh, right on the edge where the strings come through the bridge plate 
I should say. Okay, and then I put a little bit right across the string slot. Yes. Remember I said these have slotted um, bridge saddles? Indeed it does. Indeed they do. Come up here to our nut. Get a bunch in there. Problem with trying to get a um, modern fender bridge to stay in tune when you use your whammy bar is to lubricate every part of the guitar that the strings touch. They use this little micro brush. to put some of the nut sauce on either side of the string tree. So you don't want any friction anywhere. Okay, so Buddy wanted there to be just a little bit of room to do a little bit of warbling. He didn't want it flat with the body. He just wanted a little bit of room so he could pull up just a little bit just to add a little bit of waka waka in there so we're going to put the screws in or drive the screws a little deeper I should say to achieve that start with a turn at a time I think he may have had nines on this before I didn't bother to measure because everything was going to change That's about where it was. Maybe another half a turn. Yeah, that's where it was right there. So as I'm setting the string height on these new saddles, one thing I'm noticing is I don't really dig the aggressiveness of the thread. Um, fender you've got a bit more fine-tuning but once it's set it's set you know so I, I really can't say that's a bad thing it's just what I'm used to once again like I say in all my videos you want to make sure that your bridge plate is level with your saddles. See if our relief has changed since we've been goofing around with this stuff here. I'm looking for a little less than 10 thou. And that's where we are. Okay. So let me tune it up and see if I guessed well enough for the intonation. Now that's the other thing I wanted to do to take this uh, super lube. And when I bend this all the way up, I can drop just a little bit of that down there. And drop a little bit more down on the posts. So that those will move smoothly too. You don't want anything to bind up whenever you're dealing with a trim that you're going to actually use. 
So we'll just do that a little bit. Do all our work with this off of it. Put it back in, goofball. sharp. Got it. A is on. He needs to go that way a little bit because it's flat. Almost there. I always rebend it over the saddle. Okay, we got it. G is there. Pretty good guess on this. That's a little flat. Nailed it. Okay. We're going to set this on a stand and let it go overnight. And clean some of this junk off of it. Oh, I noticed the, the uh, strap buttons were just a little bit loose. Just make them a little tighter. By the same token, earlier didn't film it because I didn't think it was necessary, but you tighten up all the bushings on the headstock, the tuners, so that, uh, and that takes a 10 mil. Just to make sure everything's tight, not cranked, but tight. Also, the same way with the bridge plate. So, yeah, we have our new saddles and Nothing stinking at the top. We got our string height at just on the fat side of four all the way across. Hey everybody, welcome back to the underground lair. This had, has had about six hours to sit. We just have to do string height and I think they're going to be all the saddles or all the pickups are going to come up. Oh boy. Don't put me in your band. some uh, sustain, I feel they do. Because there's a lot more mass on those saddles. And the tone control is wired in with the bridge pickup, he said. I haven't checked it yet. Sure is. There we go. I'm going to 
trim the strings off finally. Remember, you never do that till you're done. American Standard. Corona, California. Done. Buddy, go get some locking tuners with a higher ratio. You will love it because there won't be any wraps and there won't be stuff to come untuned while you're doing any sort of trim work. I want to thank you for joining us down here in the underground lair for another installment of Stringman Guitars. Um, if you uh, gained anything out of this or if you'd like to su uh, support the channel please hit like and subscribe and we have stickers available six dollars Bentley got one I'll show you what they look like uh, there we go right there beside the old skyscraper if you want a sticker Send it PayPal, the link will be below. Six dollars in the United States uh, Continental. And uh, we'll ship it out to you. Take care of the old folks. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. Be patient with one another. And uh, peace. Have a good night.